Hi, so this may not look like it, but this is actually as near infrared camera as you're going to get without having to spend mega bucks. So, we'll just get started, I'll show you how I did it, but before we get started, I'll just show you what the actual viewfinder looks like, and I'll prove with this little test that it is actually infrared, because there you can see the light flashing from the remote. So, how did I make this? Well, to start with, you need an old camera. This one's about at least six years old. You can see it still runs on nice little AA batteries. And then you need a floppy disk, and you actually need the inner black disk, so you have to just cut that into the shape of your sensor that we'll talk about later. And you don't need grubby fingers, you need to wash them, because we don't want any grit or dust or grease on our infrared pictures. So first what you're going to have to do is take the part of the camera, just using these screws, pretty simple. Although I would, this is why you're going to need an old camera, because it is quite easy to just wreck your camera taking the connections apart. But having said that, it's nothing to be afraid of if it's, if it's an old camera anyway. It doesn't matter too much, but you obviously get permission first. So what we're doing when you're taking the camera apart is you're looking for the lens assembly, which is this. So when this comes out, this is the assembly, and you're trying to get deep down into the bowels of the camera, so it's probably somewhere behind there. Which So once you've taken the final lens assembly, you follow it to the base, and at the base, somewhere attached to the circuit board here, should be a little chip, which is called the CCD chip, and that basically records the image, or well, that's what I believe. And then what you have to do is remove, it's got a little white glass filter, which is pretty small, and you can tell it's the filter because it sits on top of it. It's like a little grass square. And if you tilt it in the light, it looks a bit purple like my finger there. And it changes colour. So you're going to take that off. You might have to be careful taking that off. It's either held on by a little clasp or it could be just glued on. So you're going to have to carefully take that off. Then cut an identically sized filter for your from your floppy disk. Or you might want to cut it a bit bigger. So you don't get any light seeping through. Then you're going to place that on the, the centre either glue it with a bit of glue, not too much, you don't want to smudge it when it compresses down or just put the clasp back on or I like I did, I just didn't use any glue I didn't want to risk glue going everywhere so then you're just going to put your, fil put your camera back together be careful when you put the lens on, you don't want to misalign the filter and then screw it all back together and remember keep your screws in the same order they came out like a little tray because you don't really want your screws going missing, like having a few screws left is a nightmare so I'll just take a picture of, I don't know, I'll take a picture of this, I don't know, this little milky bar cow that fits in the frame. Just take a picture of it. And then the one downside for using old cameras is it does take a while to load. So here's, as it loads, there's a picture of the little milky bar cow. As you can see, it's got a different tinge to it which is infrared, so this is like post-production, so it's not like Instagram, you can't get this filter on Instagram, you can get one that looks like it probably somewhere on some suites, but you can't get like this near infrared, as I said, it's not full infrared, because it's obviously not a custom-made filter, it's just a floppy disk, but it's great if you've just got a spare time, and it does come into its own when you go outside, like, it's got good negative images, so all the light just becomes white, and this also, if you want, you can make a nice little night vision camera, I mean, it is a quite a lot of effort compared to using a torch, but you could just mount a load of LED, infrared LEDs like found on your remote. Obviously, don't take it from your remote. A load of those around here, and you'd be able to get a quite decent, like almost splinter cell kind of goggle that you could not really tape to your face, but still be pretty decent, pretty fun. So, yeah, thanks for watching this, and good luck making it. And if you've got any questions, just hit up Google. There's, there's so many tutorials and stuff on how to make an infrared camera. You can't really go wrong. So yeah, thanks for watching.